Suppose you're interested in calculating the determinant of C times A. C is a scalar or a number and A is a matrix of order N. Then this determinant can be calculated using C raised to power N times the determinant of A itself For example, if matrix A is of determinant 4, and I ask you to calculate the determinant of 2A, let me use the same color here, 2A, this can be written as 2 raised to power, suppose the order of this matrix is 3, that A be of order n equals to 3, then this determinant is 2 to power 3 times the determinant of the matrix A, which in this case is going to be just 8 times 4, which is 32. Another important property for the determinant is the determinant of the inverse of a matrix. So if A is an invertible matrix of order N, then the determinant of the inverse of A is equal to one over the determinant of A itself. So let's go back to the example here. The determinant of A is equal to four. So indeed it is not equals to zero. So since the determinant of A is equal to four and it is not zero, so A is indeed invertible matrix. So if I ask you, hey, calculate the determinant of the inverse of this matrix, you're going to say that, hey, by following the formula, it is 1 over the determinant of A, which is equal to 4. So this is the determinant of the inverse of the matrix that you have. Another important property for matrices is their multiplication. If you have two matrices, like A and B, and I ask you to find the determinant of their multiplication, it is the determinant of A times the determinant of B. So suppose we have matrix A with determinant 4, and I give you another matrix like matrix B, of determinant 5, and I ask you to find the determinant of their multiplication. So following the formula, relation between the determinant, the determinant of A times B is equal to the determinant of A, which is 4, times the determinant of B, which is 5, which is 20. So with these important formulas, we can find the determinant of different type. Also remember that the determinant of the transpose of a matrix is equal to the determinant of that matrix. So it's another formula for you. So if I ask you to find the determinant of A times B transpose, since this is equal to the determinant of A times B, and we know that the determinant of AB is equal to 20, you're going to just type 20. This is the final answer.